go to this is the transition area here for the Ironman New York course 2012. It's the proximity to the GW Bridge. And this is what looks like will be T1 or the bike area, the end of the swim. are out there near the wall. So we loop around here. This is what should be the start of the bike leg. Yeah, I'll drive over there, which is where swim out is. Decent sized area, but it should be interesting with all the, the athletes. I think swim out is right over that wall right there. You can see that's probably what 30 yards out, 40 yards out. Yeah, that wall's three feet high yep. with stones. Yeah, see the And that's where the GW is, which you will eventually be running over. And this should be the start of the uh, the bike, and what would be the run too, right? Yep, bike out and run out is right here. Hopefully, you guys will be able to catch the uh, the slope of this initial climb here. Start my Garmin. Decent sized climb here. Distance wise, what do you think that was? That was 0.3 miles to right here. So a third of a mile, and then come around a quick technical right here. Well, this is the start of the uh, out and back, which they say is. Three and a half miles out, three and a half miles back. We do that twice. I'll let this car go around me. The good thing we noticed about this run is that there should be plenty of shade. Very narrow road for athletes going out and coming back but it's definitely well shaded. And the actual quality of the road is pretty decent as well. We just ran it. We didn't notice any huge potholes or... It's just narrow. It's very narrow. It's narrow. One thing we noticed, we wondered how the setup of the uh, aid stations would be. Should be interesting to see how that plays out. Okay. 
capture really quick. There's the Hudson, will you be swimming? Back to the road. <laughs> So after that first climb, it's relatively flat for, for a little while, sir. I didn't think it was flat. <laughs> How far are we now with the distance wise? Uh, we've been 1.1 miles from the transition area. So we're 0.9 into the uh, out and back. Something like that. Or 8.9. Again, a very narrow road. You have athletes going on both sides on a two loop course, it should get very congested. I mean, theoretically, there should be an aid station right here. This is one mile, but I don't know where they put it. Have a nice little descent. But you have to climb on the way back. See, there's the probably an aid station right here is my guess. Oh, yeah, that could be. 1.6 miles into it. So a nice, again, little climb here. So I'm guessing you see a lot of people power walking. Probably the pace I'll be going right there. Yeah. Again, very narrow, but probably a lot of people walking. down that road. Crap. How long do you think this was, that little climb there? Uh, we've been 1.8 miles total, or 2 miles total, 1.8 miles on this out and back. So, you would go down similar type of terrain, similar type of rolling format. Another mile and a half, is it? Your car, not mine. <laughs> like I don't have enough tickets already. Right. I think it's a moving violation. It was open. Breaking the law for the better <laughs> of our team reserve aid crew.
any other comments, suggestions, tips you could pick up from what we just ran with her? I don't know. It just seems so hilly. I know my legs are sore, and I have pretty fresh legs. So I just don't know strategy. I was going so slow up them, and I would go fast down them. I don't know if we're supposed to smooth that out or do that. I have a feeling I'll be power walking these hills. Keep in mind, after you run this thing twice, you have to go up the steps to the GW. I wish I had slope on my uh, Garmin right now. And there's the water right there. How far from uh, shore do you think people will be swimming? I think you start out pretty close to the middle. Um, so there'll be probably a couple hundred yards out there. It's a really wide uh, river here. If I had to guess, there'd be another aid station here worth 2.5 miles into a total and all, just a little less than a mile past that last logical spot for one. And another gradual climb. Another thing is, I don't know where they're going to put porta potties. There's just not enough space here. Spectators, I don't know where everybody's going to go. I can't go. imagine there'll be any spectators down here. They may not even allow them down here as tight as it'll be. Good chunk of the run course that people are not going to be able to watch from a spectator point of view. It's a nice road. I mean, nice run today, but I might not be thinking. You know, it's 70 degrees this morning, and we were running at 5 a.m., so that's going to be a little different than running at 2 p.m. In the middle of August. to be coming up, what, on three miles or so? We're 3.1 total from, uh, from transition. So maybe another aid station right around here? Yeah, you can put it in the middle there. It's still not going to be very big compared to an Ironman aid station. Ironman, Ironman aid stations have the water, the coke, the perform, the cookies, the pretzels. Nice big buffet. Another climb. I take that back. It was 62 degrees this morning outside. Perfect for running. Maybe it'll be 62 on August 11th. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe I'll hit the lotto tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of room. I mean, look, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a ledge that just drops off right here. It's not like you can just pull over and... break. That should give you a feel that yep. two cars could barely pass on this thing. Yep. Two small inch cars.
right, so I don't know exactly where the turnaround will be. We're coming up. This is three and a half miles right here at the top of this little hill. I don't know if the turnout's at the top or at the bottom, but I'm going to assume it's at the top, but I'm not sure. Let's see if there's a spot I can... driver in the world <laughs> so <laughs> I mean right. making a normal driver like six backups <laughs> to do that well there you have it get to do that part of the run section twice cool there you have it yeah I guess alright there you go, folks. Good luck.